Hey guys, uh, so I'm back. Um, I've been like so in and out of YouTube. I think it's because I've been like everywhere recently. And I'm actually soon, I'm gonna film like an updated skincare routine because yeah, it's my skincare routine has like switched around compared to the first time I started my YouTube video, my YouTube video, my YouTube channel. It's like completely changed. My skincare routine has changed like completely. So I'm gonna like later on, I'm gonna film a video about that. Maybe I'm filming today at the same time as this video, but it just depends how much time I have left after I shoot this video. So I wanted to do a video today to discuss on my um, 10 tips, maybe 10 tips. In terms of how or what I've learned especially dealing with acne for like 10 years per se or really like I'm dealing with like really irritated and just acne for like 10 years oh my god can you imagine but like my skin used to look like this and then now it looks like this I mean like now I have like some blush I mean bronzer on a little concealer but nothing too much um but yeah just complete transformation in terms of texture um hydration number one was to improve um, to improve your cleansing routine so I'm talking about this because I always say this all the time double cleansing is the key to maintaining healthy skin to making sure all the grime and dirt and all the pollution is gone off of your skin if you're not improving your skincare routine through double cleansing you all the other products that you put in your skin will penetrate as well so that's number one improve your cleansing routine and also when you're cleansing don't strip your skin completely a lot of people think that if their skin feels squeaky dry your skin um feels like a lot better that's why you usually i stay away from sls's i use um cream based or oil based cleansers like late VIP, late um ev is more for high um dehydrated skin or oil-based cleansers, whatever you prefer. Just I just stay with the SLSs because in the cosmetic world, we're speaking of SLSs, we're usually trying to strip away like moisture. We're just trying to strip away any hydration that you might have seen in your skin before. So really, yeah, just those are two two things: don't cleanse and don't overstrip your face. So that's when I talk about improving your cleansing routine. Number two is. Exfoliate, exfoliate, but don't over exfoliate your skin. So, for people who deal with congestion, like I do, I have really congested skin. I might not even be wearing that much makeup, my skin just gets really congested. It's not even oily, my skin is oily, it just gets congested. Um, I see them just gets really congested, and that's how I form um, P acne or acne. So, um you just have to know your skin. If you're someone that doesn't break out that much, maybe once a week exfoliate, do like a heavier exfoliation. I do a more daily ex dry girl. Really look for ingredients like lactic acid. Um, those are gonna really help for your exfoliation. So yeah, so exfoliate, exfoliate, but don't over exfoliate. Don't use very harsh grains on your face, but just lightly sloughed off all the dead skin from your face. Sorry to do a longer video, guys. I'm just trying to get all the tips down and packed. Number three, less is more. I always get the people asking, what do I use? What do I need to use? Really focus on what you are looking for at that moment. So like, if you know your skin is really congested, that's number one. If you know you will need to brighten up your skin, that's number two issue. And if you know um, you have dark spots that you're trying to correct, that's a different situation. So for me, it was more so having products in my routine that really made sense to my routine like not just like oh i'm gonna buy a bunch of watch a lot of reviews and buy everything it was like why am i using this just to kind of slim down your routine so you're not doing stuff that you don't really need to do because spending money extra money on products that you don't really need is very important so number one know why you're using every single product in your routine and let's say your cleanser is not working that well look for a different cleanser but you're still keeping a single cleanser in your routine maybe it's getting warmer or it's getting colder so you're going to switch around based on those kind of situations 
has number three. Number four, know your weakness early. So for me, I can't have dairy. I keep dairy out of my routine. So it kind of gives me an idea, okay, don't, sometimes in my cheat days I do eat dairy, but really stay away from dairy. Or let's say you, in your routine and stuff, you know you don't cleanse as much. Really pay attention, okay, I need to do a deeper cleanse. Just know what your weakness is. Because that's why I think it's really important to see a professional too, to kind of use your knowledge and use their knowledge and kind of create your routine around what you really need. So know your weakness very early in your routine and kind of because nobody really pin, can pinpoint where their acne is coming from but if you notice something happens to your body whenever you eat this really pay attention because your gut really does align to your skin so really pay attention to stuff like that number five the most basic advice I'm gonna give you stay hydrated drink your water um, I think within the last couple of weeks, I've been dealing with like dehydrated, dehydrated skin. My like, skin just like felt so dry. I'm like, I'm putting moisturizer. I'm trying really expensive different hydrators, and they're not working. And the lady at Blue Mercury's like, "Honey, you need to be drinking your water." And I was like, "Really?" But yeah, drinking your water is very important to maintaining great skin. Even Naomi Campbell said that's like her main like secret to great skin. I'm like, if Naomi said that's what she does, then I'm doing it. I guess but yeah um yeah so drink your water drink a lot of water keep your body hydrated um it's not even just for your skin just for everything in general your whole health just stay hydrated especially now it's warmer just like stay hydrated and you'll be shocked how much like if you're someone with super dehydrated skin you'll be shocked how much your lack of water is actually affecting your skin and you might be spending so much money on moisturizers and you might not realize that it's really just your water intake is not enough Number six, take care of your internal before understanding your an external. So taking care of your internal, what I mean is that if your body, when you eat certain foods, your gut just like feels weird or your stomach feels bloated, those things, that means your body's not properly digesting certain foods. So include like probiotics into your diet. That's what I do, or what I drink is kombucha. Whenever my stomach just feels weird, I just drink some kombucha and it really helps to simmer down my body. Because sometimes your gut or your stomach feeling inflamed or whatever can actually cause inflammation in your skin. So I'm not a professional yet, but I have, for me personally, that's what I've noticed. Number seven, my sleep habits. Um, I know people were saying, oh, you get to sleep at a certain, get your eight hours of sleep. That is not, in this generation, this time I'm in, eight hours might not, might not get eight hours of sleep. I'm not going to lie to myself. I might really not get eight hours of sleep. But when I'm talking about sleep habits is making sure you have the right pillows that you're sleeping on. I sleep on a silk pillow every night because I've actually realized that sleeping on a cotton pillow actually kind of absorbs all the serums and like, all the goodness I put in my skin the night before and I felt like my skin every time I'm sleeping my silk pillow my skin is actually felt more hydrated when waking up so that's what I mean by um, sleep habit um, making sure you're washing your face never go to sleep with makeup like don't play yourself guys wash your face before you go to sleep okay even if you're like so you're you're done you're like I can't do it at least at least double cleanse okay even if you can't put everything else double cleanse your face and go to sleep so that's why it's very important number eight just because it's stronger doesn't mean it's better and I mean this because sometimes people with acne we really think that we have to go for the strongest the highest concentration ingredients to really see benefits in our skin but sometimes you just need to start lower at a lower concentration before you hit the higher concentration if you're going to start messing with high concentrations of lactic acid glycolic acid really try to look for estheticians to do that for you because messing with those type of stuff without the proper knowledge or background really doesn't do anything for your skin 
so that's when I talk about um, stronger doesn't mean better um, if you are so for me I stay away from ingredients like glycolic acid um, alcohols in my moisturizers I know I'm a little bit more lenient with alcohol but very drying ingredients I really stay away from them um, especially using them daily so that's very important the next one number nine is mask 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 Um, incorporate a really good mask into your routine your but make sure that whatever mask you're using your routine is targeted to whatever problem you have so right now my favorite mask is the mask vivant and the mask vivant from Billie Jean Recherche um, is like an all-for-one mask it really helps with people who deal with congestion just to maintain their skin it really does what it says it does I know people that say oh yeah it doesn't maybe it's a hype but I've seen a lot of improvement when I start using mask with on in terms of keeping my skin balanced and just maintaining my skin overall that mask has done it I'm still playing around with different masks right now from different brands and I don't want to talk about it yet until like I give half like my full-on like approval then I'll talk about it and my last tip is keep your skin high moisturized I remember um, a really 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 pinnacle point in my life I think around 2014 I was like using um, like really getting heavy into my skincare and my skin dried out I was dealing with um, I'm not gonna I don't even know what it was but micro bumps just heavy texture irritation like it was really really bad like I if I could find pictures I will post them up here but my skin was not doing well and the crazy part was that my barrier was completely damaged and if I knew then I would have really paid attention to moisturizing my skin because my skin when it's dehydrated becomes very inflamed and it doesn't know what to do but when it's moisturized it feels happy and also just say okay I'm gonna slather on some coconut oil I know it works for some people but if people who are really dealing with acne acne and very like seborrheic skin and just like very imbalanced skin um, really need to look for a proper hydrator that they can use for me right now I love the creme placenta it is pricier but for in terms of other ones that I could recommend look into the event um, brand look for hydrators that have very simple ingredients um you're looking for ingredients like glycerin in your hydrator that is like a work um workhorse ingredient and you're looking for ingredients that like just contain um maybe lactobacillus in there just um just as a point of like that fermented story that is really really like known right now and really help um just to balance keep your skin balanced um that is like my biggest tip and this video is going on way too long so i think that's it guys um see you guys later bye